Well, I'll introduce myself. So I'm Danielle Hill. I'm an educator and trainer with Pro Cell Therapies. Um, I'm from BC, Canada. Um, and, there, you know, I got into Pro Cell. I owned a spa up here in BC, Canada, and I actually um, offered Pro Cell Therapies. And my clients absolutely loved it. Um, I ch chose it over microneedling because... Um, my clients wanted something with little downtime and that's what Purcell is. So, um, and then, you know, after using it for about a year, um, I got hired on as a rep and now I'm just, um, you know, training practitioners worldwide. And Chanel is also an educator and trainer with Pro Cell Therapies, and she's a licensed esthetician. Do you want to introduce yourself, Chanel? Yeah, my model just got here, so we're getting set up, but hi. Okay, so I'm located in Memphis, Tennessee. I've been a esthetician for about six years now. Um, I own Skin Envy Memphis here. I actually have been using Pro Cell for a little bit over a year, so that's been really nice. Um, it's changed my business. I focus on acne, so that's my main clientele. Um, so ProCell was a really big game changer just in treating active acne and then also um, treating acne scars. So that's been really cool. Awesome, perfect. So we're gonna do a quick little short uh, presentation um, and then we're gonna get into the live demo. So today we're kind of focusing because ProCell is safe for all skin types. Our focus today is treating Fitzpatrick five and six. So as you see, our model is a darker Fitzpatrick. And I am just going to share my screen. Um, I'll keep it. Oh, okay. Can everybody see the, my screen? <laughs> Maria? Yeah. Yes, I okay, can see Okay, perfect. It. Awesome. Okay, so pro cell therapies, micro channeling, micro needling evolved. So a little bit about pro cell. It was founded by Dr. Mm -hmm. Mitchell Schwartz. He's an American board certified dermatologist. Um, so in his office many years ago, he did offer micro needling, and you know he did see results with traditional micro needling. But what he did find was one, the devices were poorly designed as well as long downtime. And he did notice a lot of inflammation. And so he wanted to create something with shortened downtime and something that was safe for all skin types. And so that's how ProCell Therapies came about. We are a six time uh, award winner with D Dermascope Esthetician Awards. And we just won for this year. And everything is made in the USA. So what is microchanneling? So microchanneling is a unique linear stamping technique done without dragging or tearing of the skin, providing clean, consistent channels. Our treatment times are very fast as we do have three different size tips. We have a small, a medium, and a large, which I'll get into. And then we also have our growth factor serums, which are de derived from adult human bone marrow, which provides healing and anti-aging benefits, as well as there's virtually no downtime. So your clients can go back to work the next day. Okay, so what do we offer? We offer a four-in-one device. So we offer body treatments, mainly for scarring, surgical scarring, stretch marks, and body tightening. So a couple common areas are up here on the arms and by the knees as well. We also offer skin treatment, so your face, neck, and decollete, fine lines, wrinkles, acne, acne scarring, pigmentation, tightening, reduction in pore size. We also have our hair treatment uh, for hair regrowth for those clients who do have thinning hair. And then we also have our nano tip, which is essentially for product absorption. And again, safe for all skin types. So a little bit about microchanneling versus other pens. Um, they did create this clay model, which is great because it's easier to see than having to think about it. So as you see here, you have the roller on the right-hand side. So as you see, 
not very much coverage. There's lots of gouges, drag marts, inconsistent. A lot of the rollers, you know, you can buy off Amazon and essentially is just damaging for the skin. Uh, in the middle here, we have, um, you know, traditional microneedling that you're dragging the device. And so those needles are coming in and out at inconsistent depths. So you don't really know what depth you're using. And as you see here, there's gouges, tears, and really like, it's just screaming inflammation. So that's that. And then you have pro-cell therapies, clean, consistent channels. Oh, sorry, computer. Clean, consistent ch channels, no trauma to the skin, all uniform, all at the same depth. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about pre-care, post-care, what can you do with pro-cell therapies, um, and then we're going to get into the demo here shortly. So pre-care, obviously constant consultation is the number one. You want to explain to the clients what you're doing, what depth you're using, what the serums are. You want to go through everything, pre-care, post-care, what to do and what not to do. It's very important. Um, then we're going to always start with a double cleanse. Pictures, because pictures are documentation, very important. Um, and then you can also incorporate ProCell with other modalities. So you could do a microdermabrasion immediately before ProCell treatment, dermaplaning, an enzyme peel immediately before ProCell. Um, and then you would jump into uh, if you're going to be numbing. Now, the great thing is at the 0.25 depth, no numbing is required. And no numbing is required from the neck down. So if you're doing any sort of body tightening, surgical scarrings, you actually don't need to numb, which is great because numbing is um, a time, you know, you can waste a lot of time with that numbing cream. Um, and then you would basically disinfect with alcohol wipes. And then you would microchannel with growth fact with our growth factor serums. If you are going to be incorporating LED, you want to do it after the treatment, immediately before the ProCell mask. Our ProCell mask is actually a really important step to, um, because we're taking all that moisture out of the skin during the treatment, we wanna replace it immediately. And so using that mask is gonna help with the downtime as well, just getting hydration back into the skin. And you can also incorporate bio-repeal. If any of you guys offer bio-repeal, you can also incorporate that the same day of treatment. And post-care, very minimal, you know. So same day, we don't want the client to essentially apply any products the same day. I usually like to tell my clients, just don't apply anything unless if you have to. Um, but essentially, those channels are open for 90 minutes. So after 90 minutes, you could essentially put on a sunscreen if you have to, put on some mineral makeup. Um, but essentially, you know, we just want to leave it clean for the for the day. So no other products. You want to be sure you're washing your pillowcase, no touching the face. I know a lot of people like to hold their phone up to their face immediately after. Big no-no because there's so much bacteria on that phone. Uh, no sunglasses, at least for the first 90 minutes is very crucial because those are when your micro channels are open. You do want to avoid direct sunlight for 24 hours. No actives for three days. So AHA, BHA, retinol. Um, and you do want to hydrate, 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 hydrate inside and out. There is something called TOOL, which is trans epidermal water loss. So because we're taking all the moisture out, we do need to replace it. Um, we do have our aftercare serums, which is essentially a serum. So you do want to um, get a good moisturizer and hydrate um, with lots of moisturizer the week after a treatment. So when is the next treatment? Well, this varies on you know, your clientele. Usually it's about four to six weeks, younger people, you know, they heal a little bit quicker. So younger clientele, I like to do every four weeks for skin treatments. And um, older clientele, we can push it to six weeks because they are a little bit slower to heal. And what other treatments can you do? 
Well, you can, like I said, you can incorporate LED, microdermabrasion, enzyme mask, dermaplaning, bioreapeal, other treatments, you know, depending what it is, Botox, you know, you would want to wait, uh, chemical peels, two weeks, <coughs> lasers, two weeks, IPL, two weeks. But essentially, you can um, have someone if they want, you know, a hydrofacial, they could come in um, two weeks after a ProCell treatment. You can also incorporate hydrofacial in with ProCell immediate, immediately before, but we just don't want to use any actives. I know there's a step one and step two, but you can also do that immediately before. Okay, so a little bit about our products. So we do have two different devices and I thought I'd show you guys exactly what they look like. So on the left, you have your pro device, which is 3000 to 6000 RPM. And then we have our MD device, okay? And so this one's 6000 to 9300 under load. So when I say under load, if you think about like a drill going into the wall, you know, as soon as it enters, it slows down. That's essentially, you know, what the pro, it slows down by 30%. The MD device does have a pressure sensor in it that um, it doesn't slow down. And so the MD device is going to be the better device. It's quicker. You can save money by getting more clients in during the day. And it does have a little bit of less vibration. Um, so it's a little more comfortable for your clients. And then of course we have our serum and our tips. So like I said, we have three different sizes of tips. We have our small tip, medium and large tip. And we also have our nano tip, which again is more for product, product absorption, not for results driven. So our small tip is mainly for uh, female pattern baldness. We wanna use that um, as well as if you're treating any surgical scarring, you can use the small tip. Our medium tip, essentially, which is called the face tip, is going to be your most common tip. Um, this can be used on the face, neck, decollete. You can also use it on the body as well as male uh, hair treatments as well. And then we have our large tip, which has 50 pins in it. And this is mainly focused on body tightening. But you can also use uh, the body tip on the chest. I mean, it's a large tip. Look how big it is, you guys. You can treat the arms super quick, any body treatments. So that's mainly for skin or body tightening, but you can also use it on the chest as well. And then let's talk a little bit about our serums. So our pro serum, we have three different serums. Our pro serums are 14 highly concentrated hand-picked growth factors. So these are all human derived. They are made in an FDA approved lab. And then we also have our MD serum, which is essentially double the concentration from the pro serum. And then it does have two additional growth factors for inflammation. So between these two, we like to use the pro serum kind of on our younger clientele. Um, and then our MD serum more on the older clientele, or if you're dealing with any sort of tissue, uh, acne scarring, surgical scarring, you would want to use the MD serum for this. Although the pro serum would work, but the MD serum does have that double concentration and the two additional growth factors. And then because we have our hair treatments for hair regrowth, we do have our hair serum, which has growth factors in it as well. And it has a specific growth factor called WNT1, which basically is a messaging compound um, to awaken those dormant follicles. Okay, so when you purchase with ProCell, what's included? Lifetime warranty. This is amazing. I don't think there's any other device on the market that offers this. So if anything happens to your device, um, they will send you a shipping label and you can return your device. They'll fix it, repair it, whatever needs to be done and ship it back. And they will usually do that within three business days. Training and certifications all included. You will also have access to our um, ProCell app, which has tons of documents, consent forms, protocols, and um, you will also start part of your training through the ProCell app, your theory part of it. And then um, when you are set up with the rep and you do purchase, we will train you. 
We will watch you do a full treatment. Graphics and materials for marketing. So when you do get assigned a rep, they will help you market ProSell and coaching for launching your new service and business building to set goals and pricing. So people always ask, well, what do I charge? And we'll get into that a little bit later. So I'm just going to quickly go through a couple before and afters here. And, you know, some of these are darker Fitzpatrick. So this was some acne scarring here. This was a couple treatments. Down below, we have two treatments here. Amazing results. Pigmentation has lightened up completely. A little bit of acne scarring. This is one treatment, you guys. Amazing. Down here, amazing results, focusing on pigmentation, acne scarring up here, two treatments down here, amazing results. And then we have our hair treatments down here. I believe this was two treatments. And this one's kind of a split. So on the left is the after and on the right is the before. And then over on the right, this is two treatments of our hair treatments. And then we do have, like I said, body treatments. This is some stretch marks on the abdomen. One treatment, that's amazing. And then three treatments on this surgical scar and more stretch marks here on the left-hand side. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the fun part, the demo. So we are going to, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. And we're gonna focus on Chanel there. She has her model all set up, cleansed, ready to go. And um, while she's doing this, you guys, feel free to ask any questions. I'm here to answer any questions that you guys have. Um, and Chanel is going to be working at a 2.5 depth today. Let's start here on this. Okay. So normally with our darker Fitzpatrick five and six, I mean, I like to start everybody at 0.25, you know, it's, you're not going to start anyone at a deep depth. Our most common tip sizes to, that gets used are 0.25 and 0.50. So normally with a Fitzpatrick five and six, we would definitely start them at a 0.25. And if they need to move up their next treatment, you can move them up to 0 0.50. So she's going to roll the serum on. <laughs> <laughs> it is loud. And she's holding it kind of like a pencil, okay? So you have lots of control. The device, the way it's designed, it, hold, <laughs> it sits on top of your hand, so you can't get user fatigue with this. A lot of traditional microneedling pens are um, just like a, a pen, essentially. I mean, I wish I had one with me, but essentially it's like a pen. So uh, the device sits in the air. So after doing you know, a treatment, your hand's tired. Whereas this one, the way it was designed, tickly feeling. Yes, Mirna, it might be a little bit of a tickle feel. <laughs> Is 100% revision possible? I always see the before and after progress, not complete correction. So this just depends on the client. Um, you know, some people need more treatments than others. So as you see here, she's stamping. And it all depends, you know, how many stamps? Well, it just depends on your client, how they react. Everybody's different, right? But usually we're stamping five to 10 taps in one spot with a 50% overlap. She's stretching the skin. So you can see she... one little area. Sorry, Danielle. She's starting to yeah. get a little bit. I'm not sure if you can see that 
on the screen if it's close enough, but she is starting to get some erythema in this one area that we um, have done already. And I know on Darker Fitzpatrick's, it may be a little hard to see um, compared to lighter Fitzpatrick's. Um, so really just pay attention to the skin in that area. And then also you wanna make sure, sometimes you'll feel me pressing here a little bit. I am checking for heat. So I wanna make sure that that erythema is even um, and there's not too much heat to the skin. Okay, okay. Perfect. And so now what we're doing is we roll the serum on, we stamp, and then we're rolling the serum on in the area we just treated again to get those growth factors in. And at the 0.25 depth, again, you guys, you don't need to numb. Um, the only time you would need to numb if, if your client was super sensitive, I mean, of course you can numb anybody you want, but I, you know, you don't need to numb at the 0.25 depth, which is great because it saves time and time is money. And so what you're looking for is exactly just a little bit of erythema, a little bit of pink. There's no blood, you know, most traditional microneedling, you're seeing a lot of blood. And with ProCell, we use a less is more approach. So we're working at shallower depths and um, no blood. Can you speak about active or acne scar treatments on someone with active acne? Yes, of course. So we can treat um, acne scarring. If someone did have active acne, we would want to avoid any active acne. So essentially you would want to maybe do a couple treatments of, you know, what you do in your salon, um, to calm down the acne. Um, our serums actually kill the bacteria in acne. So if someone did have a lot of like pustules, you could essentially put them on our aftercare and then once everything's settled, they can come back in and you can um, treat the acne scarring. But if it's just one or two, you can essentially work around any active acne. But we would never want to stamp into it because we don't want to spread it. And I see she is turning a little bit of a pink, which is great. And Chanel, do you want to ask your client how it feels? Yeah, she'll tell you. So how does it feel? I don't like the sound, but it feels fun. Yeah, perfect. Some people say it's almost like a facial massage at this depth, so it's it's quite nice. <laughs> and nice I have pinky. To go to sleep. Awesome. So we're gonna you, do right. Do you had a client fall asleep once? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Skin workout for sure, Myrna. Does anyone have any questions? Feel free to unmute yourself. And I want to thank everyone for being here today. I know it's Sunday, and thank you, Maria, for hosting us on a Sunday. Yeah, of course. We have to do this again on a Sunday. I feel like it worked out perfect. Totally. Was the eye area too bad? No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there so any prep time that needs to go? So for example, would you do this on a first time client? I'm not sure if you answered that. And then also was there like prep? So did they go home like with products? Cause normally like when we do a chemical pill you want to prep two weeks prior, is that the same? Well, so you, you could prep however you want, but I personally, you know, because you can do microdermabrasion immediately before a treatment, um, dermaplaning, enzyme peel, you can also do immediately before. Um, so essentially that would be kind of the pre stuff, but if you're not going to be doing any of that, I would, um, you know, definitely recommend for the client to do some form of exfoliation before a treatment, obviously no actives. So whether they want to come in, you know, a week before and, and do something, some for, form of exfoliation, because exfoliated skin is the best skin um, to do a treatment on. 
So, um, or, you know, you could just advise them at home, you know, use a face cloth, try and get some dead skin off. Um, but personally, so I like to do um, a microderm abrasion immediately before a treatment because then they know it's exfoliated and I know it's done. So in regard to Dr. Fitzpatrick's, to answer your question about pre-treatments, yes. So I wouldn't do necessarily a microchanneling treatment on a Dr. Fitzpatrick if they weren't on a tyrosinase inhibitor prior to Um a lot of times there's a misconception about treating darker Fitzpatrick's um, and the fear that if you do any type of advanced technique, you'll cause hyperpigmentation. Um, and the biggest piece of that is that I don't think people focus on the root of that. And the root of that is going to be inflammation. So really making sure that any of your darker Fitzpatrick's um, are always on a tyrosinase inhibitor is super important. So if you will do this first day, they need to go home with that tyrosinase inhibitor same day as well. Perfect. And my favorite question, because we do call this the money-making esthetician, how much do we charge? Yes, of course. So this will depend on your area. Um, you know, are you a med spa or you're a sole esthetician? But average, it's about 300 to 500 for a treatment. And then, of course, we can get into hair treatments, you know, um, half head, you can charge 300, full head, you can charge 400. And that's just for one treatment. We always like to sell in packages. Um, I always like to do a buy three, get one free. And then they're coming in every four to six weeks. And then usually the clients will, you know, do their face and then, oh, well, I have some stretch marks I need to, you know, tackle or a surgical scar. Oh, my hair is thinning. So it's not just for the face. And that's what I love about Procell is you can treat literally the whole body. So your client's not just coming in for one facial treatment. They'll, you know, they'll see how great it is. And then they'll want to do more on their body, which is just more income for you guys. So say somebody is ready, okay, <clears throat> they're ready to go on. How would you recommend introducing this new treatment? There's two questions actually, because obviously you want to do between four and six treatments to get best results. Do you mm -hmm. offer payment plans with like Cherry or Square? Do you offer a discount? And then how would they introduce this new treatment? Of course, so we help them market. We have tons of marketing tips uh, before and after. So we help them with their first marketing um, post or however they want to do it. Um, and then of course, different payment plans. It just depends. I know some people do offer a cherry, which is fine. Um, myself, when I did it, um, I would do it buy three, get one free. Um, and so what I would do, cause I know, you know, a thousand and fifty was a little bit for, um, someone to pay immediately up front. So what I would do is I would take half their payment that same day. So essentially I'm getting 525 that same day. And so if they never came back, guess what? I still made more than a single treatment. And then their next treatment, then when they come back, they pay the remaining. So essentially I just break it up into two. That's how I did it. Um, I'm not sure, Chanel, do you do any kind of payment plans for your clients if they were going to buy a package? Yeah, so um, I use Vigaro, but any platform you have, let's say you use Square or Cherry, they do all have that availability to give your clients, um, they can buy the package, you get paid everything up front, which is really nice. Um, so even if, let's say they are late on a payment that goes through whomever the system is. So it's really nice that you don't have to worry about the back end of that. Um, regardless of if you're a solo or in a med spa, I think everyone kind of just wants to get paid up front in a package. So I sell them in a package, they pay in full. Um, and then they do, they can split their payments up. They have that option. Awesome. Chanel, what do you use for your back bar? Um, I have a lot in my back bar. <laughs> um, I have hair clinical, I have DMK, I have face reality, um, and I have a few like cherry picked products from Glymed as well. 
So for what would a typical protocol be for like something like this? Did you exfoliate her with the enzyme or microdermabrasion? So for this demo purpose, no, I didn't. Um, Sydney's a client of mine and I see her every month. So we didn't um, exfoliate her prior to this. But let's say a traditional protocol, um, I myself use Lear. So in my back bar, I could double cleanse her with a gentle cleanser and then an active cleanser. Um, you can go in with an enzyme base. So you can exfoliate. So Lear has like a Vitabrite. Um, they also have a pumpkin plus enzyme, which is really nice as well. Um, so I could go in and use that. Um, and it depends on the lines you carry. There are a lot of options to customize those treatments. I could take, let's say, for example, they have a sal pulp peel, and I could mix that with the illuminating polisher to kind of cut it so that it's not a complete chemical peel before, but you do get almost like the effects of chemical microdermabrasion in a way, um, and then go in and do this treatment. Do either one of you have a favorite tri inhibitor? I can never say that word. A tyrosinase inhibitor? Yeah. yeah. The ones I actually use are from Lear again. Sorry, that's like probably one of the, the biggest no. lines are, but um, it's called ProLite. Um, and they also have one called ProBrite. Um, ProLite has kojic acid in it. It's really nice. It has some licorice root. Let's turn you this way. Perfect. I was actually looking into them. Yeah, it's a it's a really great line. Um, so I love ProLite. All of my acne girlies are actually on ProLite as well. Anyone who's struggling with more like chronic pigment, they're going to be on ProBrite. ProBrite has transmetamic acid in it, and it's going to be equivalent to about a 4% hydroquinone. So you get all of the great benefits without any of the harmful side effects, which is really nice. So I have everyone on either of those. Um, pretty much no matter the Fitzpatrick, honestly, just because um, regardless of if it's post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or it is post-inflammatory erythema, um, they both help to really calm those quickly. But a Fitzpatrick one to, one to four doesn't necessarily have to do this. I see a question in the chat, but um, like Chanel said, she likes to do it to everyone, but definitely your five and six, you would want to do this. Yeah. That's just personal preference. I like to, um, in my experience, it's just healed it and calmed the skin down a little bit quicker. Um, and ultimately, when you're doing advanced treatments like this, the biggest thing you want to focus on is, again, inflammation. I think a lot of times we focus on the effect of something, but we don't actually focus on the cause of it. And inflammation is more than likely always going to be the root of something. Um, and calming inflammation is really, really important because even when we're microchanneling at these shallow depths, we are still stimulating collagen. And the longer that the skin is inflamed, you risk creating warped collagen fibers. So it's super important that you calm that skin immediately and limit as much inflammation as possible. So Having tyrosinase inhibitors, things that calm the skin, LED are all great things you can use. Using the post-treatment hydrating mask and then making sure that you're staying at shallow depths. A lot of times also when you're working with darker Fitzpatrick's, um, slow and steady wins the race. So you always want to take more of a progressive over an aggressive approach. You still will get results, but you just don't want to go too hard in the paint immediately. And so after treatment, Chanel, post-care, aside from the ProCell serums that you're going to give them, what else are they going to do um, for post-care? So aside from the ProCell serums, step one and two that you're going to give them, I still always like to make sure that they are on that tyrosinase inhibitor. In my practice, all of my post-care clients who are on um, microchanneling series also have a vitamin C at home. It's a standalone vitamin C. Um, the body can't necessarily recognize collagen without vitamin C. So when we move into um, corrective treatments, where, especially when we're stimulating collagen, I like to add that as well. So the routine is still fairly simple. I'll have them cleanse 
I'll have them go with their tyrosinase inhibitor, the vitamin C, steps one and two from ProCell, and then sunscreen. And sunscreen for sure. And so would they use, um, would you wait a couple days to use the vitamin C and then the inhibitor or? Um, so the inhibitor I use immediately. Okay. Um, the wait a few days. So she is already on the left-hand side of the face. Treatments can go super quick. We can treat under the eye, the eyelid. We can go over the lips as long as they don't get cold sores. If they do get cold sores, um, we want them to be on their medication a few days before. What if you give them a package of four, get three, buy three, get one three, do they have a certain amount of time to use the treatments? Um, not necessarily, but of course we would like to get those four treatments done you know, every four to six weeks. Um, because if you just left it for months, um, you know, everything's kind of going to come back a little bit. So I always like to do them in a series, like four to every four to six weeks and then reevaluate after that. So say they do the four treatments, um, you know, maybe they don't need all four. So they do three treatments. Well, they can save that fourth one, you know, for a couple months down the road, but you want to try and get a couple of treatments in consistently. So I kind of have a different approach to that too. So um, when people purchase packages, so let's say for example, they bought a series of four, I would say you have six months to use the series of four. Um, one that keeps them responsible um, because when you're in this series, you kind of want to stay consistent in how you're doing these treatments. And then ultimately that sets the expectation for your client as well. So if we say, oh, you have this package, but they separate these treatments and they're only getting one like every three months, um, you're not maintaining the expectations that you set with your client. So I would say have them use it fairly quickly. And also you want to get paid. Of you want to make sure you're getting paid consistently and the faster your clients see results, the more, sorry, this thing is auto shut off. I got to move around. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> And that's for, you know, skin treatments. We do have body treatments and I, um, I didn't necessarily sell packages with body treatments because everybody's different with the surgical scarring and all that. Um, and then we have hair treatments, which is different from skin. So hair treatments, you want to try and sell a package, you know, of six to eight treatments. They're going to need a little bit more. But the thing with the hair treatments is you're going to do every two weeks versus four to six. Um, what do you do for aftercare for hair treatments? Yeah, of course. So we do have our, uh, growth factor serum aftercare for hair. So after a treatment, um, you don't want them washing the same day. They come in with a clean scalp. Essentially, you're just going to use an alcohol pad. Um, no numbing is required on the scalp at all, whatever depth you're using. Um, so essentially they come in and you can basically jump right into the treatment super quick. Um, you can use uh, radio frequency LED on the scalp as well after a treatment. And then after care, you know, you don't want them um, wearing a hat the same day. Obviously, you don't want them in the in the sun. Um, but essentially, you just want to apply that after care three days after a treatment. Um, no washing the same day. And then also when you do have a shower, you don't want to like vigorously you know, dry your scalp and, um, do that, but it's, it's pretty simple for the aftercare for the hair is aftercare included in the client price. So there is people do, and people don't, some people, um, will, um, retail the aftercare for me. I personally like to include the aftercare it's just sweet. because one, I know <laughs> they're going to take it home. They have to, it's included in the treatment price. And also they're kind of getting something more extra with it. So I like to include it that way. I know oh, that you. they're using the aftercare. Um, the aftercare is really important. I always tell clients it's like dieting and exercising, you know, doing one or the other. Yeah. You'll see results, but doing them both together, you're going to see a lot better results. So I always like to include it in the treatment price. 
Um, but Chanel may have a different answer. Do you include the aftercare in your treatment price? Um, so I will include a trial size. So let's say, for example, they purchased yeah. a package of four. So I'll include the trial size in that package of four because ultimately I want them to try the product. I want them to get it in their hands. And then you really want your clients to be on full sizes. So I'll include the trial size in a series. So package of four, include the trial size. And then after, because that's going to last them, what, maybe, Danielle, like a week? A week, if, yeah. If that. Um, and then they come back in and they purchase the full size. So I wouldn't include the trial size every single time. Um, because then you're not giving your client the opportunity to have full size bottles. Essentially. That's a great idea. Yeah, great idea. And so the like she was saying, the trial size that you know, if you wanted to include it, do last about a week. So you know, they want to be using some form of this, either the small ones or the large ones, in between each treatment. The large ones do last about um, four to six weeks. And you also like, I like to include that because you want to make sure that you're adding value to your services. Um, so you could price your package or your series 30 to $50 higher, um, but you're adding value. So that's also very. Yeah. And I love the value of it. I mean, people just it's not just a treatment. It's, you know, you're getting a double cleanse. You're getting. If you're doing any form of exfoliation, you're getting exfoliation before you're getting, if you're numbing, you're getting a numbing. You're also um, micro channeling with highly potent growth factor serums. If you're doing LED after you're getting LED. So all these things add up. It's not just one service. It's a, you know, com combination of serves. So when you add more value, um, to your service, explain everything of what you're doing and all these different steps, you're gonna add more value to it. And then the mask as well. So this, like I said, this is so important, the mask. So she's done a treatment and that took about, I don't know, 15 minutes or so, super quick. No bleeding a nice pink, little inflammation. Now we're going to finish off with the mask, which is a hyaluronic acid-based mask. So we're putting that moisture in. And That's we also saying. came, go ahead, Chanel. No, no, what were you saying, Daniel? I was going to say, we also uh, just came out with face and neck masks combined. So if you do a face and neck uh, treatment together, you will get the face and neck uh, mask as well. Do you feel a difference with this mask on? It's cold. cold. <laughs> Is it soothing? Yeah. And these masks are great, you guys, to retail, you know, to anyone. I love to do, um, when I just feel a little bit dry, I will use a ProCell mask just on its own, and it's so hydrating. Jelly. <laughs> she said it feels some, like jelly. Yeah. Some clients um love the mask. They would actually purchase, some of my clients would purchase a mask um to take home with them and maybe use the next day. And that's also something you can include in your packages too. Like I said, um add value to it. So if you do the math on how much the box of five masks cost you and then add that to your overall package price. So you say, hey, you're getting a package of four, so four treatments. I'm also gonna give you a free mask to take home to use post-treatment. And I'm also gonna send you home with a trial size of this aftercare to really boost your results. Um, and then once they use this post-treatment, they're like, wow, I love it. And you may have them buy even more. So that's the goal is to kind of give your clients the value and then also give them the results that they're looking for. And they won't hesitate to want to purchase so masks. how much do you charge uh for just say a facial treatment chanel um a pro cell treatment yes so pro cell treatment is going to be 300 okay um, perfect. using pro serums um if you're using the md serums you're going to want to charge 
350 to 400 um, and above, depending on the area you're in. So the difference between those two serums, I'm not sure if we talked about them just yet while Sydney's sitting with her mask on, is the Pro Serum I really like for people who um, are in their 20s. They don't have much correction that needs to be done. Um, so think of Pro Serums almost as preventative. So Pro for P, P for preventative. Um, MD serums are going to be more of your corrective serum. So when you're dealing with stretch marks, you're dealing with acne, you're dealing with acne scars, hyperpigmentation, fine lines and wrinkles, anything that you're wanting to correct and maintain, um, I would definitely opt for MD serums. Absolutely. And it, like I said, it does have those two additional growth factors in it for inflammation. So one of the reasons as we get older, we get a lot of inflammation. So that is going to be your better option for your older clientele. Terry had said, I saw a YouTube video with Taryn and she had full plastic covered bed for bloodborne pathogen covering, but it seems like you don't need to. No, I mean, okay. everyone's, yeah, I'm not, I think she's talking about your bed, but she does have something laid on top of the blanket. So um, that's all that you need as long as the, if you're doing a body treatment, then you would lay something over top of um, the area where you're treating. Yeah, I there's a towel here, the um, yeah. device also wrapped as well. Um, and then again, we're also only at a 0.25. So there are no bloodborne pathogens um, because we're it's a superficial treatment. Um, we're pretty much within that epidermal layer. And with the way our device was designed, there's absolutely zero backflow. So nothing can go back into the device. I know like some devices um, out there, you know, you have that issue of blood pathogens going back into the device, but our device is designed that um, no backflow whatsoever. Obviously we still like to be protective and wrap our device, but you'll never have that issue. And then you don't deal with blood, so. Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys can see um, on the camera here, but this black tip is what's actually moving. Um, and so this kind of like ball and socket mechanism, the tip attaches here. So there's no possible way for there to be any backflow into the device. Okay, so we have a few people on here. Some of you guys may have reps, may not. If you don't have a rep, uh, myself or Chanel will be reaching out to you. And just because you are here today, we are gonna give you a discount. So if you purchase a device and any treatment pack, we're gonna give you 10 free pro treatments. So we're gonna give you 10 tips, 10 pro serums, 10 masks and 10 aftercare. Um, so if you have your rep already, um, just reach out to them. They'll be able to help you and just let them know you are here today. And if not, then um, Chanel or myself will reach out to you. And do you guys wanna put your emails? Of course we are gonna reach out to everybody, but just in case, or how do they contact you? Yeah, so Chanel, I'll put yours. It's just chanel.yancy at prosaltherapies.com. And then mine. Does anyone have any questions? How long did it take you to get clients after bringing this in? Immediately. Yeah, um, I would assume too. It it's not something that you have to sell to your clients. Um, and that's something that a lot of practitioners will come in and then that's a concern of theirs. They say, okay, how can I sell this to my clients? And you're not selling it to them. Any, any person that walks through your door, this will be able to treat them. So the clients that you already have, you can offer this to them. The clients that you see walking down the street, I guarantee you, if it's not hair restoration that they're interested in, if it's not stretch marks, if it's not hyperpigmentation or acne scars, or they ultimately just want to make sure that the skin is always nice and firm and plump, this is still a treatment that 
can utilize it. Sometimes we like to market it as our permanent anti-aging facial um, because everyone needs it. So stimulating collagen will never be, there's mm -hmm. never a downside to it. There is a never a downside to more collagen. <laughs> yeah. No, never. <laughs> like you can never have everyone, too much. Everyone can benefit from this. Mm -hmm. And for me, yeah, I, again, I didn't really, I had a lot of aging uh, clients. And so when I was waiting for my device to be shipped, I was already selling treatments and I didn't even have the device yet. So uh, my clients, yeah, loved it. So one of our mottos for 2024 is don't suffer in silence. So I would really love to encourage you guys to turn on your mics or ask questions. If there's anything that's on your mind and you're just like, should I say it? You should totally say it. And there's never a, a wrong or stupid question, never. So don't feel like that as well. Feel free to unmute yourself and ask anything. Yeah, I'd love to help. If you have questions specifically on treating Dr. Fitzpatrick's or um, just pro cell in general, I'm happy to help you. Hi. Hi. So Hi kind of weird. Hi, kind of weird question. I'm wondering when you think about like the physicality of handling a device, you know, how long do you think it really takes you to sort of get a feel for like, oh, I'm, I'm using this machine well, easily, it's comfortable for me as a practitioner, that sort of thing? Yeah, so um, when you come into this, we train you. So you have two opportunities, one, to kind of get that training down pack. Um, and two, the device is, it's doing all the work for you. So I often say there's not a very big learning curve when it comes to using this device. Um, so just kind of even when you're sitting at home, I'd like to kind of just hold it different ways. And if you kind of just practice holding it, even without using a client and really just kind of getting in the groove of keeping your wrist straight, it's very easy to pick up. So it's not something you have to worry about a really big learning curve or a super difficult device to to manage. This does all the work for you. So as long as you kind of rest this here, keep your wrist straight and keep it all kind of in the arm, um, it's pretty easy. Exactly. Like she said, the device literally does all the work for you. You just have to make that contact with the skin. That's all you're doing. You're not pushing, you're not dragging. It's just literally making that contact because the device is doing the work. So, um, I mean, at first, you know, it may feel different, but literally after you do a treatment or two, you get the hang of it completely. Yep. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else with questions? I would say that was a really good question because I could see why that would pop up of like, you know, how is it, you know, the movement, it's kind of like a muscle, right? Yeah, no, of course. And like I said, the way the device was made, your hand doesn't get tired. And, you know, you can move this around if you're trying to, you know, get up here. It's it's very easy to manipulate the device. Um, very easy. I remember I did a open house. Um, one of the reps came out and I did 10 clients in one day. Wow. Um, my hand didn't hurt, but my back hurt, <laughs> but <laughs> doing 10 treatments back to back, um, my hand didn't hurt. I was amazed. So it's great. Do you guys have an organ rep? So with our reps, uh, because everything is done virtually, um, we're not designated to certain areas. So um, I'm not sure if you don't have a rep, I'm not sure what your name is. It says Zoom user, but if you don't have a rep, um, Chanel or myself will reach be reaching out to you. You know what I also heard that ProCell has like on the website where you can like find practitioners in your area? Yes, we just came out with that. So if you go to head to ProCellTherapies.com, you can see um, if there's a practitioner in the area. It shows a little map. It's great. 
And then if you do purchase with ProSell, you'll be added to that map. So really anyone can search for you in the area. So her name is Desiree. Desiree, that's my sister's name. That would be easy to remember. <laughs> so Desiree, okay, this, there is going to be a replay, I promise. We're going to put it on YouTube, hopefully tonight. Marcos. Um, <laughs> my boyfriend does all the tech stuff. Um, <laughs> there will be a replay. Also, reach out to them. And any more questions? I, there is one. What's the difference between the two devices? So again, this is our pro device. So this one's $2,995. This one's 3,000 to 6,000 RPM. And then this one is $3,995. It's called our MD device. It does not have to be used by a medical director. It's just a name ProCell uses. Um, and this one is 6,000 to 9,300 under load. So this is gonna be your quicker device. Um, so treatment times are quicker. And again, time is money um as well as it's a little more um less vibration so it'll be a little more comfier for your client okay well thank you guys oh, for all sorry. being here oh go ahead sorry just a quick question i was just curious where do we find the youtube replays i've heard it mentioned in webinars but i don't actually know how to find those. Maria, do you Sign know? Right here. I'm sorry, uh, my client walked in. Sorry, what was it? Just how do we find the YouTube replay? Oh, okay, so I will actually, so it's, if you go to YouTube, it's the Money Making SD, um, dot, Money Making SD, Esthetician. And then also we have a website, which is the Money Making SD or Money Making Esthetician. And I saw at the top, all the handles are at the top. Awesome. Thank you. I'm like, join the newsletter. <laughs> yes, join the newsletter. Alrighty, you guys, do we have any more questions? I think we are good. And again, our emails are in there. Um, but again, we're going to be reaching out to you. But if you have a question, feel free to. Um, reach out to me or Chanel. I'm brand new to the group, so I haven't figured everything I love out that. yet. Welcome. Thank you for being here. So I would say join the newsletter and then also everything like past lives that we've done are on the YouTube and also pinned under feature. So if you go under feature, you'll see a lot of cool stuff. Yes. And welcome to the group. All righty. Thank you, everybody. Hey, thank you guys. We'll Everyone. chat soon. Enjoy your Sunday.